plaintiff, Kayla Knighton, says the defendant was married when they had an affair, and Kayla ended up pregnant. Kayla claims after a DNA test proved the defendant was her child's father, he tried to ruin her life and got her fired from her job. So she's suing for defamation of character. Defendant Darius Chapman admits he had a one-night stand with Kayla. And ever since she gave birth to his son, she has made his life a living hell. Darius claims he got full custody of their son after Kayla got in trouble with the law. And he's countersuing her for harassment and emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Math is presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. So Darius and I share a four-year-old son together. He was born in 2014. Initially, Darius denied that he was Ezekiel's father because he had an affair with me and he was in a relationship at the time. Now, I filed for a paternity test and when he was found to be the father, he started making my life horrible. Oh. He just started like spreading rumors about me. He got me fired from my job. He got me kicked out of my apartment. Why do you think he was doing these things? Because he was embarrassed. He denied that. Embarrassed of what? That he got me pregnant. Embarrassed of by who? Me, because he didn't want he anybody. He was embarrassed to with you. Yeah, like he didn't want. You all the only two that knew it. Yeah, basically. Well, there so was a he... few other people that knew, but he didn't really want anybody to know that he was with me. How did he get you fired? What is that? I don't understand. He that. told that he told my boss that mm -hmm. I was selling drugs out of my workplace and I, w I was coming to work under the influence mm -hmm. and I got fired. I had the emails and to what prove did, it. Why do you think he did that? What made him want to do that? It How all that? started over a custody issue. Uh, he took Ezekiel. I allowed him to take Ezekiel. He was supposed to bring Ezekiel back the next day. Why, Jean? And why? When. He didn't bring Ezekiel back the next day. I inquired, and he told me that he was not going to bring Ezekiel back to me, and he had full intentions on taking full custody of him. Mm -hmm. So... Did he tell you why? He just told me he, that he felt like I was unfit, like I wasn't doing what I had to for my son. Did but he I, describe any of the things he believed you weren't fit to do? He said that I had drugs in my house, which I did not have. I was working a full-time job for mm -hmm. a title company. What else did he say? Uh, he said that I was under the influence of drugs, that I had turned my house into a trap spot, and all this time I'm working for mm -hmm. this reputable company mm -hmm. in Colorado and mm -hmm. all I had time to do was work and be a mom. Mm -hmm. That's all I did. Okay. So I got fired and I do have the emails proving why I got fired. You read it. It says March 10th, 2015. This letter is to confirm our conversation earlier regarding termination of your employment effective immediately. As discussed in our team meeting, the presence and accusations coming from Darius Chapman are reason for concern. Understandably, I cannot put the structure of my company at risk for childish behavior. It is with my deepest apologies that we have to discontinue our employment relationship. And as stated in our meeting, I will be more than willing to provide a positive employment reference. Okay, let's see that. And what has he do you have any evidence of the calls or whatever he did that is the only out? thing that i got from my boss this was back in 2015. i also have an email from my landlord mm -hmm. after an incident had happened and he come to my house with his friends and tried to break into my residence <laughs> and my landlord showed up all because he's embarrassed there's Why something missing here hold on there's something missing here man man doesn't do all of that because he's embarrassed that the child is his when earlier he said it wasn't. I do not think that he's embarrassed to be the father. I think he's about? trying to eliminate me from my son's life completely. Now you got a second, that's the second, that's something totally different. I think he's embarrassed Man, please be me. quiet. You told me something totally different and now you changed it all together. <laughs> you tell me what's going on, sir. How's it going, sir? Uh, as you know, uh, I'm father of Ezekiel Knighton. Uh, my son was born April 17, 2014. I've been knowing Miss Knighton before a year prior to my son being born. Uh, Miss Knight, had, we had a, a one night stand. My son was born at that time. She was seeing other three men, so I did not know that he was mine at first. So I didn't, I, I didn't claim him at first. We did the paternity test. As soon as I found out he was mine, I've been there per, since day one, full, full. When was that? Uh, October 2014. October 14 is when you, mm -hmm. it was confirmed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what has gone on throughout those since, years? Since I've found out that he's been mine, I've been in his life since then, Ms. Knight has made my life a living hell. 
She has been to my residence. She has called my job. She has called my parents. She's called my family members. She's, Why? Because she doesn't want me around my son. She doesn't want me involved with him at all, period. Why? Did she say I why? Have, I have no reason why to. I, obviously, you didn't I, ask. You didn't say, why can't I see my son? You haven't I asked, asked that? Yeah, I asked that. And what she, was she She say? gives me multiple reasons of why. Okay. Like so what? Tell my, me some. My, she feuding with my ex-wife. Uh, she doesn't like my family that I stay with. Okay. Uh, friends, I guess. All right. And I, what do you think the real motivation is? Like I said, Your Honor, she gives me multiple reasons, so I I just do what I have to do to make sure that I'm entitled to my you son. You have some ideas, sir. You should be you haven't speculated. She doesn't like me because whatever. Like I said, she, she speculated, or she had two speculations at the end. <laughs> and I guess you don't want to speculate because you saw how I tore up her lives. <laughs> so you don't want me to tear you apart. You said, oh, let me be quiet. Tell me how she's uh things she's done to you. She's shown me uh, what appears to be um, uh, a yeah, good have... case of defamation if you called and reached out to her job and as a result she was fired for something she may yeah, not have that... done or if you called the job, period. Yeah, those, those are lies because I never, even though she had employment in March of 2015, I was actually incarcerated at that time, to be honest. Um, like I said, they I never... They got phones in jail. Huh? They got phones in jail or prison. Yeah. You could have still called. Uh, not her. You could have called the job. No, I didn't call her job. You could have from I, jail. Yeah, but I, like I said, I didn't call her job. Your All honor. right, well, just say that. <laughs> I didn't call her job, period, Your Honor. Um, as I was saying, we got joint custody in 2016. After that, she went on a run because she had some issues going on with her and her household. She had uh, she caught up some couple of felonies or whatever, and she went on the run. So that's when they granted me. That's when I got first got granted full custody of Ezekiel. Oh, you have legal full custody. Yes. Oh wait, that. there's more. Oh wait, there's you more. Yeah, there's you more. conveniently forgot that part, huh? <laughs> Go ahead, sir. The so, court, the... after considering both sides, no doubt. No doubt. Decide you were fit and she wasn't. Yes, because she left state, state. With felonies. Mm hmm. In the state we live in now. That's a lie. That's a lie. So. What happened then? Hold on. Let me hear from you. That's what happened? That's a lie. What happened? So, this has been a constant tug and war with mm -hmm. him for the past four years. Like, I just want to co parent, honestly. Darius has constantly bashed me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. He's Man, made a... we're not talking about that anymore. I know. Was the kid taken from you and given permanent custody by him? No, that is not okay, what Okay, he does not have personal no, permanent he, custody? he has primary custody yeah. as of right now. Okay, why did they only give you partial custody or visitation or whatever it is? As of most recently, on September 23rd... Well, no, I'll go to the beginning, not just most recently. When did they first take the kid okay, from Okay, so you? when they first... Yeah, they first, my goodness, how many times has it been? Oh, it's been a lot. It's wow. been a lot. It's They've been a, taken your child from you? How it's been, often? It's been a constant tug and war between us. Ma'am, oh, so uh, they all went before the judge, <laughs> so don't no, blame like, everything on gives, him. Let's gives, blame the judge. The judge gives custody to me, and then they'll give custody to him. Right. And then they'll give custody to me, and then they'll give custody you know to what him. That, you know I'm a judge. I know how that goes. One of the parties, they ask for custody because the other one is unfit. So after proving in court that one is unfit, the judge gives primary custody to the one who is determined most fit. And then the person comes back to get primary custody after they've cleaned themselves up. Judge, I've cleaned myself up. Will you now give me custody back? Okay, ma'am, yes, I'll give you uh, custody back, joint custody, take them home. Something else happens, usually it's in drug cases. Person relapses back into a life of drugs. Somebody comes to visit, the father comes to visit the child, he's living in a pigsty with a bunch of drugs. Okay, same old thing, huh? Now I gotta go back to court. Your Honor, she's unfit again. Judge says, oh, ma'am, I gotta take him from you again. Boom. That, yeah, I know how it goes back and forth. You don't have to tell me. I was never this is my first time. <laughs> if I may continue? Sure. I was never notified of any of these custody dates, of any of the court dates. Lies, Your Honor, because these are the dates that she filed and didn't show up on because I have the paper right here. And I got the whole thing, too. 
Here's a minute. No, now. no, no. You said you never were like. informed of them, ma'am. Your claim is dismissed for perjury. I don't believe anything you've said. Your claim is dismissed, sir, and as a result of her perjury, yours is granted. Thank you. Continue being a good father. I'm glad you got custody. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I'm glad the judge saw what was going on, and I'm glad this is over with, and I'm glad I won my case. That's it. I'm taking it to district court, and I'm going to pursue charges for... Uh, he falsely got a restraining order on me. I was way on the other side of town. I haven't seen my son in a whole month. Like, that's not right at all. That's not right.